Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your angel messages for May 2022 for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Remember Pisces, these readings won't be for everyone. Just take what resonates with you as always. We have love, number six, relationships and harmony. This is the Archangel Metatron deck, so we're going to pull from the Archangel Raphael. Okay, what do we have for Pisces, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, what do we have for Pisces? Thank you for May 2022. Okay, we have Inner Authority. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for supporting me as I take back my power and listen to my intuition, desires, and feelings. Let's see what else we get. This is the Archangel Gabriel deck. What do we have, please? For Okay, that card wants to fall out. We've got happy news. Your prayer is answered in a creative way. And what do we have for Pisces, please, angels? Message for our lovely Pisces, thank you. Message for Pisces. We have number 13, Cat Spirit. Claim your independence. Okay, Pisces, let's see what we get as a message from the angels for you. What do we have, please? Message from the angels for May 2022. Or an additional message from the angels. What do we have? For Pisces, thank you. Message for our lovely Pisces. We have the Ace of Pentacles. We have, <laughs> we have another Ace, the Ace of Wands. The Four of Pentacles. And we have the High Priestess. Pisces, this is lovely. Um, I have pretty much 50% of the tarot cards as aces. You know, two aces in a reading in a four card spread is really beautiful. Quite magical. Because we have the hand of spirit on both of these cards. So... The Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, I mean, these can be the cards of a door is opening for you, at least one door, could be even two, um, but there's, it feels it's linked to money, career, finances, home, property, business, assets. It's a new beginning or it feels in this energy quite significant here, Pisces. Um, just being ready to open a new door i mean the ace of wands is action orientated moving in a direction of where your heart and soul is leading you where you're inspired where you feel uplifted where you absolutely feel the time is right to take action because action is required here and it feels in terms of opening a brand new door this is opportunity very good in terms of money career finances can be associated with moving or relocating home property as well but it feels in this energy the time is now you're being presented with a significant gift here and you're being told to trust your intuition in this situation really if this is something that's opening up for you you're being strongly advised to take it it might well be for some of you that this affects your, your love, your romantic level, your, your partnership. So this could actually be to do with um, buying a home together, moving in together, investing in something together. 
you know, it feels it has some kind of material aspect to it. Uh, so certainly in terms of love, romance, relationships, it can indicate that. It can also be, you know, changes in money career circumstances that affect a relationship. So again, however it translates for you, Pisces, these two aces next to each other feel really magical. Just beautiful energy. It feels like you're being given a significant gift here. We have the Four of Pentacles. Now, this can come up when you're being very cautious and careful with money. So sometimes changes in employment need us to be careful with money, conservative with money, because there's only so much that you have to go around. However, if that's the case for you, you have absolutely been approaching the situation in the right way, uh, using your practical skills, working within the boundaries that you have found yourself, and it feels there's new opportunity, at least one opportunity opening up for you here. That's a gift from the universe in terms of how you've approached the situation, dealt with the situation, work within the boundaries that you've found yourself, um, the limited resources that you've had to deliver this. Beautiful energy here. That's the happy news. And this claiming your independence is liberation from this, liberation from having to be cautious and careful because there's new abundance coming your way. It's just a lovely energy here, Pisces. Now, this is also an energy, um, and it might well be with that high priestess energy, you've been guided by your intuition every step of the way. You might even be reading signs you might even be reading the situation well, intuitively getting signs, signals that this is coming your way, you know, because that's the high priestess energy. We just sometimes feel this is looking good. This is looking positive. This is looking optimistic, reading the situation really well that now is the time uh, that you're going to get some kind of job opportunity, material opportunity of some kind. Like I said, intuitively, you might be guided to set, put down roots with somebody as well, buy a home together, move in together, or even relocate to another home if you already live together. So you might have been saving. You know, this can be a card of just being cautious and careful with your money because you're saving. Uh, either way, it does feel like this month is looking really good for you in terms of moving, relocating, because it's time is the action energy of it's time to take action through a brand new door because you just know that it's time. It feels in this energy you'll be reading the situation well and something it feels a new path is opening up for you. And the high priestess energy is just being guided every step of the way through your intuition. Uh, it just feels really lovely, really, really lovely. In a relationship, if independence has been an issue, it feels that inner authority is overcoming that. You know, there's a there's a strong indication here of, of if this has been, oh gosh, am I ready to take that next step in a relationship and move in and commit and put down roots with something concrete? It feels that you're overcoming that here is what I'm getting. That's what I have for you, Pisces. I'm going to pull you a final card. Okay, final message for Pisces. Thank you. Final message for our lovely Pisces. We have 1911. Don't get stuck in a rut. Reevaluate your current plan and take note of the things that may no longer be serving you. You are connected to the energy of source, which means that you have unlimited power to change your reality for your benefit. You might be seeing that number this month. That's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you.